Hey there, Jim Hart back at you here from Hawthorne Law and, and the Hart Law Firm. And today I want to talk about everybody's favorite topic, and that is getting paid. So if you're starting a business, there could be lots of reasons why you want to get started in that business. Maybe you want to leave your nine to five job. Maybe you want financial freedom. Maybe you want time freedom. Maybe you want to do something crazy and amazing in the world, or you want to create some serious change, whatever it might be. At the end of the day, if you're not making money, then your business is not going to be successful. And if you're not making money, you're probably not going to continue working at your business unless I guess it's a hobby business and then you might continue to work at it. Getting paid. So getting paid is one of those things that's incredibly important for your business. And one of the most common questions I get here on the channel is about how to get paid, how much to pay yourself, you know, different things like that. And so today I want to go over some tips that are going to help you make sure that you're doing this the right way, the legal way, and that you're not paying too much in taxes and that you're also not running into problems where there could be some piercing of the corporate veil. So let's just jump right into it. So the first tip is you need to understand that when you set up an LLC, there's really no tax benefit to that LLC. A lot of people think that by having an LLC set up when they pay themselves, they need to deduct that money from the amount of money they earn in the LLC and then they need to pay taxes on that. And so they get worried about actually taking money out of the LLC and putting into their personal account because they're worried, what if they're not withholding taxes? And so there's a lot of hesitation that I've noticed from people who are setting up LLCs about how actually to take money out of that LLC. So the first thing you need to understand is that LLC is taxed exactly the same as if you are a sole proprietor. And what does that mean? That means that if you make say like $50,000 in profit from your business and you take out $50,000 of that profit and put it in your personal account, you're going to pay the same amount of taxes as if you take no money out of your business account and put it into your personal account. So if you don't pay yourself at all, you're still paying taxes on that $50,000 of income that the business made. And so that's the first thing you really need to understand. And the only exception to this is if you decide or elect to be taxed as an S corporation. I, I got to get the dog. This is recording videos these days an absolute nightmare between the workers downstairs and the dogs barking and ugh, some guy has, I kid you not, set up shop right outside my front door, which is like 10 feet that way where he is running a jigsaw and cutting lumber right outside our front door. All right, so, so that's really the first thing you need to know is that the LLC is going to be taxed absolutely no differently than a sole proprietor. They're exactly the same. The second tip I want to give you today is, and this is incredibly important, if you take if you do nothing else that I talk about in this video, this is something that you need to absolutely pay attention to, and that is you need to open up a separate business account. And that's regardless of whether or not you're setting up as an LLC or you're a sole proprietor, you're an S corporation, whatever it is that you're doing with your business, you must have a business account with an EIN for your business that is separate and apart from your personal bank accounts. And that's incredibly important in terms of Number one, making sure that corporate veil does not get pierced by your business if you do something wrong and so people can't come after all your personal assets. Number two, it's going to make it a lot easier for you come tax time because you're not going to be commingling your business and personal funds. And that's incredibly important. So if somebody pays you a check for your business or gives you a credit card for your business, breathe, Jamma, breathe. So if somebody gives you a personal check or a credit card or, or they, they pay you for the business, you need to make sure that money goes into your business account, not your personal account. I see a lot of people, amateurs, who are putting money directly into their personal bank account when they should be putting that money into their business bank account. Big no-no, don't do that. All right, the third thing is kind of goes hand in hand with setting up that separate business bank account. And this is where, again, a lot of people get very confused. Uh, after that money goes into your business account, you can pay all your business expenses out of that account. That's totally fine and actually what you should be doing. You should not be paying those expenses out of a personal account or anything else. But when it comes time to pay yourself, what you need to do is either write a check, which is what I recommend. That's what I personally do. Write a check out of that account and deposit it into your personal account or 
do an electronic funds transfer from that account into your personal account. You need something that you can track showing that the money is going from the business bank account to your personal account. So that's incredibly important. You need to make sure you have that paper trail. The way I personally do it is each Friday, I write myself a check from my business account, from an owner's pay account that I have set up with the business and I deposit it into a personal check. It's really great these days. Most banks, they have um, the, the ability to, you can take pictures of your checks. Sometimes for some banks, those, those funds are available immediately, which is the way my bank does it. Other banks, they say it might take a day or two for those funds to hit. So you need to think ahead for that. If you need money, like on a Friday, you maybe you want to pay yourself on Wednesday to make sure you have the funds by Friday. But aside from those minor uh, inconveniences, paying yourself a check or via electronic funds transfer on a regular cadence, either once a week or once a month or once every other week from the business to your personal account is a really smart thing to do. And that's the way you should be paying yourself. And remember back to tip number one, the amount that you pay yourself does not matter. So if you pay yourself, whether you pay yourself the entire profit from your business or you pay yourself just a small percentage of that, you're still paying taxes on the full amount of the profit from the business. So that's very important to remember. And again, the only exception to that is if you decide to elect to be taxed as an S corporation, we're gonna talk about that in another video. Which leads us to the fourth thing that you need to be aware of for your business, and that is you need to save money for taxes. So like I said, if you make, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you make in your business, if you're an LLC, you're gonna be taxed on the full amount of your net profit. Now remember, net profit is... Oh! Coffee time. Now remember, net profit is the revenue that you earn in your business minus the expenses you pay yourself in your business. But the owner pay, the owner distributions, member distributions, whatever you wanna call them, those are not expenses. So that's why they need to be categorized differently. And that's a very important distinction that you need to understand. So you don't get to write off the amount of money you pay yourself in your business. If you were a C corporation and you paid yourself a salary, that would be different, but this is for just a straight up LLC or a sole proprietorship. The, those distributions you take are just owner draws. That's, that's all they are. They are not deducted in terms of from the revenue for the business and because you're still taxed on the full amount. All right, I had to get this done quick today because of all the people outside working. If you have other questions, I'm gonna do another video here right here that's gonna talk more about how your tax is an S corporation. The main mistake that I made this year uh, with my S corporation, and I'm gonna tell that story in the video next week, so you don't wanna miss it, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, care. Thanks, folks, take care. <laughs>